last few what at the old price? We'll uh, worry about that when we get them inside. <laughs> we need a bigger window, you know. What for? So we can write bigger letters. I doubt if they can read that across the street. All this and my money I'm spending on advertising. And I'm, uh, I'm not a uh, reaching by people. All this money? What money? One little brush and a pot of whitewash. <laughs> Road, look. Off we go. It's all. About a kiss then to start the day right. <laughs> might start your flaming day right, but it won't do a lot for me. So you just met Dennis. <laughs> That's Dennis. We're training him for a round of his own. I hope it's not round here. <laughs> It's dark. <laughs> Somebody had seen me kissing the milkman. <laughs> Some of these firms spend a lot of their money on advertising, you know. Oh, well, that's it. It's going to cost money. That's us finished before we start, isn't it? Well, I, don't, I don't see why. <laughs> what, you? Spend money? Oh, oh, oh. Granville, I am there talking about advertising. You keep harping on about uh, spending money. I wish you'd have watched your language, Granville. I may be old-fashioned, but I hate to hear young people that are talking loosely. <laughs> I haven't brought you up to be promiscuous over me and my money. That's true, I'll give you that. But you've lacked for nothing. That's right. That's one thing I haven't lacked. Nothing. <laughs> I've had plenty of that. Listen, you've always had good foods and, and had healthy exercise, Granville. Yeah, I know, but what about boring? Huh? It's often been boring. Well, I should hope so. But look what he's uh, done for your complexion. <laughs> you've got a wonderful skin, our Granville. No, no. I haven't done a whole lot with it, though, have I? Oh. <laughs> skin like that is entirely due to good old-fashioned English baby boredom. We used to be famous for it, you know, a while back, all over Europe. There go the English, they used to say, aren't they? They'd be boring. <laughs> Mind you, we were always uh, respected for it. Yes, but the world's changed. Yes, and uh, don't they know it? Look what they get now abroad. The uh, Liverpool supporters. A song for Europe. Surely boring sounds better than that already, don't it? Yeah, there must be a happy medium. Well, there was your okay, cousin Ethel. She, she were a medium. Really? I didn't know I had a cousin, Ethel. Oh, yeah, well, she was your mother's cousin, really. She used to do all these seances and the, the table and the wrapping and all that, you know. Well, that's where I must get it from. What? Well, I sometimes think that I get these little little periods of precognition. Oh, do you really? Oh, it's just your plugs all in up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not any plugs. I'm being serious. Well, so was your cousin, Ethel. Oh, yes. Night after night, she used to try. And then one night, out of the blue, well, out of the black, rather, <laughs> suddenly there came this and then a knock. A visitor from the spirit world. Well, in a way, yes, he was a chap who worked at the off-license. 
He was looking for nice, honest to homely dirty diggings. Yeah, I don't believe a word of this. Oh, it's true. Yes, she took him in. And soon they knew each other as only people can who've had a couple of good sessions on the Ouija board. <laughs> ah, someone uh, trying to get through from the other side. <laughs> I hope it's, it's noddy. <laughs> Good morning. What can we do for you, sir? Now, that's what a person my age should be dressed like. Not like this. Dressed? You call that dressed? I put more than that on to go to bed in. <laughs> Good morning. Can we help you in any way? Or is it uh, too late? <laughs> Razor sharp responses, you, uh, you notice, Granville. Still, we shouldn't uh, mock the afflicted, should we? Pity about his eyesight. It's nothing the matter with his eyesight. He's wearing shades because he's cool. <laughs> I said, I think he is cool. His shirt's open to the kneecap. <laughs> hey, we're over here, sir. Over here. He's on a mutton Jeff and all. Look. <laughs> here we are, sir. Over. Get off. <laughs> You're gonna watch it creeping up on people. Pardon? You're gonna watch it creeping up on people. Could you turn your mother vacuum cleaner down a bit? What? I say, shouldn't you be wearing a vest? What? Oh, never mind. Go back to automatic pilot. Oh, thank God they've gone. <laughs> shouldn't he be wearing a vest? Huh? Vests are out, man. Well, yours is. I can see it from here. Took it here. <laughs> oh, let me handle this. Oh, I, wish, I wish you would. Go, go. Right. <clears throat> Hi. Something we can do for you, man? Don't listen to the golden oldie here. <laughs> He's like from yesterday. <laughs> you and me, we know where it's at, right? By the way, love the open shirt. <laughs> That's very me, that, the open shirt, you know. As soon as I get out of this working clobber, I'm straight into the open shirt. I'm well known round here for it. Well, I'm, uh, you know, I'm famous in the chest. <laughs> Don't half turn the chicks on, right? <laughs> of course, the only snag is if the waistband on your jeans is too tight. But there again, that's what jeans are all about, right? I mean, if your jeans aren't tight enough, well, you might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Can you repeat all that? I couldn't hear you for the sounds, man. <laughs> I was just, just saying, like, you know, I'd dig all your gear. You got any blamange? Yeah, I've got two of their LPs. excitement when you're engaged. Where are you going with that thing? The magnificent metal digit that's going to stand on the pavement they're pointing at the shop. That's the opening salvo in my new advertising campaign. You spare no expense, do you? It's your old ice cream sign. Well, that's uh, just for Oprah's. The hard sell comes later. It's all peeling and rusty. Oh, yes. How is your mother this morning? <laughs> She's wandering. Oh, is she? Perhaps we can get her to uh, wander off completely. <laughs> this week she thinks it's 1935. Oh, dear. Tell you what, I I'll uh, pop over tonight. If she catches us cuddling, you can introduce me as Stanley B. Baldwin. <laughs> no, thank you. Play your cards right, I can get you a place on my cabinet. Or maybe in my sideboard. <laughs> I'm going to work. You can come over later, I'll get you a bit of supper. I'll uh, bring a bottle of wine. Uh, well, wear something comfy. As we're almost re related by marriage, I think it's time I started introducing you to the secret practices of the small uh, private shopkeeper. Mm, out of my way. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> oh! 
Oh, dear. And not the easiest place to stick a plaster on. <laughs> Get Granville, but fetch your toolbox. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> your vest. What are you doing out without a vest? I don't start. I'll finish with all that clobber. I'm fed up with pinnies and vests. Pinnies and vests can seriously interfere with your social life. Well, I'll uh, deal with you in a minute when I've finished uh, shaping up this uh, sharp fingernail. <laughs> oh, dear, get on out of it. And uh, do your shirt up. You're too sh short for that sort of thing. People will mistake you for a very tall man with his flies undone. <laughs> I'm sharpening it. I'm supposed to be by blunting it. Cover your ch chest. I prefer to show me dangler. <laughs> you, you, you what? Oh, and to take them glasses off, you look like a secret squirrel. <laughs> what is there, that thing, any role? Well, it's only temporary until I can find a proper one. Yes, well, what is it? They're temporarily. It's a cocoa tin leaf. <laughs> but it looks all right from a distance. Oh. Is that the best you want the world to say if you're the dangler? It looks all right from a distance. <laughs> dear, dear. matter what it is it's you know it's it's symbolic it's it's you know it's meaningful oh meaningful the only thing I know about cocoa is it's very good at bedtime language please uh, Julie <laughs> morning Mr. Outright pack of the jelly tots please Granville yeah I wouldn't stand uh, too near the assistant manager this morning Julie you might uh, get a nipple in the eye <laughs> Doesn't he like you dressed like that? No, he doesn't think I'm dressed unless I'm wearing a penny. Well, I'm not giving in this time. <clears throat> I think you look terrific. You do? <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I'm over here. <laughs> You really think I look terrific? Terrific. And this is only just for starters, like, you know. I mean, this is just something I threw on. I think you missed. I think... <laughs> you wait until I get the hang of it, I'm going to colour the hair. Have a jelly tot. Oh, thanks very much. Oh. <laughs> Why are they all black? It's your glasses. Eh? Oh, I. <laughs> oh, you got nice eyelashes. You got nice jelly tots. <laughs> you got great legs. Oh, do you think so? Oh, I've always thought you had great legs. I always thought Julie has got great legs. <coughs> oh. What? Uh, both of them? Oh, I. Nothing to choose between them. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought, I thought, colour the hair, Granville, you know, get into colour, loads of colour. They're not really great legs. And then I thought, maybe, and this is where I would appreciate a second opinion, maybe something plain, severe even, 
Something discreet in the shape of a single earring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. That lovely. Oh, dear, dear, look at her. That's the kind of advertising we need. Have you got any copper? Eh? Oh, yes. One pound, thank you. You know, I'm making a study of the uh, adverts in these uh, glossy magazines, Granville. That her two things just stand out. Oh, yes, you see, her two things are certainly stand out. <laughs> yes, but where are we going to get someone like that around here with these uh, qualifications? Oh, no. I mean, who would address in a costume like that and uh, propose like that? Aha! Oh, dear, he'll uh, never get the hang of that thing. What we need is uh, someone who's attractive, but uh, not, uh, not too expensive. Someone who's not too bright, but brave enough to be uh, casual about things like uh, frostbite. Mr. Albright, <laughs> could you come a minute, please? Julie. <laughs> Little uh, uh, jelly top Julie. <laughs> Miss Arkwright's store in 1982. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, she, she might even do it for sweets. <laughs> <laughs> inside that, Granville? He's got me by the dangler. <laughs> How very inconvenient for you. Yes, I know. I was so busy trying to keep my fingers out of the way, I, I quite forgot about me dangler. <laughs> yes, yeah, you do, don't you? Is there anything I can do, Mr. Outright? Well, it's, it's funny you should say that, Jelly. Uh, yeah, Julie. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'll, just, uh, I'll be with you in a minute, Gr Granville. Uh, would you mind walking to the door and back, uh, yeah, To Julie? the door? Yes, and back. There's a good lass. Could you get me out? I'll be with you in a minute, uh, Granville. <laughs> What is it, Miss Rara? It's me slip showing. Oh, there's only me tights. God, I bet there's only me tights. No, 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 no. Calm down, dear Julie. Everything's her fine. Well, uh, yeah, almost of her fine. <laughs> yeah, tell me, have you ever thought about my modelling? Have you ever thought of uh, getting me out? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah, no, my modelling, Julie. Oh, yes. I don't think I'd be any good at it. Oh, it would be under my own uh, supervision and guide. Why, well, we're never any good at it before. Oh, you've done it before, have you? Oh, uh, oh. Well, I, 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 I think I should say, say straight away, Julie, that I could only offer you a fair, 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 fair fraction of of the going rate. You see, I didn't realise you had murmur me and my, my model before. I'm still here. <laughs> Yeah, my feelings exactly. I think you were in standard four. I made this gnome out of plasticine. Ah, oh, no, I didn't mean that. Well, it was supposed to be a gnome. Yeah. Actually, it looked more like a frog. In fact, when the teacher came round, she said, what's that you've made, Julie? So I said, please, miss, it's a frog. I'm not usually so quick thinking. She picked it up, she said, oh, she said, it's a frog, is it? And she handed it back with a snooty expression. She said, oh, it looks more like a gnome. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I think you lost me around about the, the second frog, Julie. The, uh, no, what it is, I want you to model yourself, you see. I want you to be a mo Consider this while I go and unravel our a gravel. A gravel. It's an about time to. Yeah, now, how would you feel about being a little Miss Arkwright's a stores in a, in a 1982? No, thank you. I've only got out my penny. I'm not putting a dress on now. <laughs> Not you, you great cat clown. I'm talking to you, Julie. Oh. Little Miss Arkwright Stores? Yes. 1982? Yeah, he's a sort of central figure in our advertising campaign, you see. Me? Look, Miss Sorry, get me out of here! Bill, be quiet, please. You're getting very noisy since you left your vest off. No, will you just. <laughs> just get me out! It's like having a l loud speaker in the shop. Ah! Ah! That's it! <laughs> 
<laughs> That's it. Allow, allow, That's what? Allow a speaker in the shop, just like they have in, in, in the supermarket. Where are you with going a, now? With, with a regular announcements to the, to the customers. <laughs> we'll have a speaker pointing that way, so it'll reach all the people in the street, you see. <laughs> Where's he going? Hey, come back. No, don't leave me here. Look, don't. Look, will you? Don't. Will you? <laughs> Grant Vilger, get me that little uh, yellow <laughs> screwdriver, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, don't worry about it. It's only been there uh, two or three days. Uh, you'll be walking fine in a couple of years. <laughs> well, what took you so long to get me out of that till? I've got a uh, business to run here. I can't afford to spend time opening errand boys. Oh, oh. There you are, you see. Think where your trendiness has got you now. I brought you up to be an, a normal, honest lad, and suddenly you, you go bent. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to talk me out of it, ain't you? Well, I'm not going to be talked out of it. Granville, for far be it from me to try to influence a, a, a hunchback. Come on. <laughs> There she goes, look. Ooh, the uh, grocer's delight. Here, uh, Granville. Have you got that my mic fixed up yet? Just a minute. Come on, then. The nurse is out there. I want to catch her before she goes indoors. Come on, I've got an idea. Here Come on. Are. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Igor, my faithful servant. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. Hello, she sh Hello, she sh Hello, she sh Hello, she sh Hello, sh Hello, folks. <laughs> This is our car, car. This is our. This is our car. Oh, I don't. I don't think I'd better do this, Granville. Did you notice a little a stammer in that lot? <laughs> Nothing worth talking about. No. no. But you'd better let me do it, just in case. Yes, I think so. You look more like a, a duck's jockey. <laughs> disc jockey. Disc <laughs> jockey. In my case, a slip disc jockey. <laughs> Don't worry, Grandma. Listen, what I want you to do is don't start it off till I give you the signal. I'm going out to give her a hand, see? And then when I say stamp me foot, you switch on and give her a cheery good morning from ah, 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 From Tesco. Tesco. <laughs> Strange way to talk to a clergyman. Oh, I'm so sorry. Say, <laughs> I drip. I knew it was you. Oh, dear, dear. Here, can I give you a hand, my love? It depends where you're going to give it to me. I've still got the bruises from the last time. If you want to make yourself useful, you can open my front door. Oh, that's the best offer I've had all week. Key in the top pocket, is it? No. Oh, I was afraid it wouldn't be. <laughs> you. I need both me hands free before I dare start squeezing past you. Anything you say, my little state registered sir, scrumptious. <laughs> I want nothing to diminish your appreciation of this moment. In future, every time you come home, you will receive the gr grosser's equivalent of the 21-gun salute. I don't know what you're rambling about. Just away for it. Granville. Oh, it's you, Julie. Hey, 
Okay, don't hang about there. This is work to be done. <laughs> One minute he were upright, the next minute his legs were all over the place. I know. His, his mother was very similar. <laughs> Are you going to start dressing properly again? Yes, I will. I'll start dressing properly again. Oh. Uh. Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> don't pull it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, hey, don't pull them. <laughs> oh. oh. Where's, where's me dangler? <laughs> well, what kind of a question is that to ask a, f a furry fairy? <laughs> oh. Shall I put, put another lump of coal on the fire, my love? I think it's going out. So will you be in a minute, so don't get too settled. Oh, I'll just finish this delicious cup of cocoa and then I'll be off. How dare you? That's coffee. Mm. I should have known, shouldn't I? It's so like you. Full-bodied, indefinable, and, uh, deep, with two, uh, two lumps. <laughs> All right, you old fool, don't start. Come on, drink up. Sam, you are off. It's been a tiring day. Yes, well, eventful, certainly. Little uh, uh, Julie's costume uh, caused quite a stir, didn't it? Have you ever thought of uh, taking up skating, my love? Me? Why? I've just opened a rink in my bedroom. <laughs> It's certainly cold enough up there. I think I might, might buy you one of them little skirts as a birthday present. Ah, oh, things are looking up. You don't usually buy me anything for my birthday. No, I'm, I'm talking about my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the one who's going to enjoy it. No, I think it'd be a nice little change for your bever bottom. Maybe. You leave my bottom out of this. Bottom draw, I was going to say. I wish you'd let me finish. A skate registered nurse. I like that. <laughs> What's that? Oh, they're not really great legs, Grandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, legs. Especially this one here. Mind you, that one over there is nice as well. Oh, Grandy. Oh, Julie. Oh, thump. I'll have to go. in with a chance tonight. I'll murder that Granville. Maybe tomorrow I'll manage to get me legs either side of her fireplace. <laughs> nice bottle of sherry should do the trick. None of that cheap muck, mind. The real, genuine stuff from Cyprus. <laughs> Only the second best is good enough for her. I'll have to forget all this high-speed advertising. I'm not built for it. I'm a workhorse, not a racehorse. Well, at least Granville's back in his penny. We'll just have to carry on staying open all hours. <laughs>